Hi, my name's Gina. Today we're going to do a flowing practice, getting warmed up with our sun salutations. It's gonna be about a 45 minute practice. So let's get going, let's get on our mat. Standing at the top of the mat, feet together. Belly's pulling, coming into the Tadasana. And with the inhale, take your arms out and up. Palms touch, look up, reach up and lengthen. And exhale as you open wide, swan dive down, coming all the way down to your standing forward fold. Just take some time to hang here a little bit. We're just getting started. So that's a lot of gravity to pull you down. I like to pedal my feet. And flat back inhale as you lengthen. Exhale, hands to the mat. And walk or step back to your plank pose. We're gonna hold it here. We're gonna move through this first sun salutation rather slowly, just getting warmed up, getting the body moving slowly. You can modify your plank pose by bringing the knees to the floor. On the exhale, you're gonna lower slowly. Let's come all the way down onto the mat, taps the feet on the floor, inhale into your cobra pose. Slowly coming up. And exhale as you bring your chin back to the mat. Gently tucking your toes. We're going to push up the hands and knees or plank, your choice. And back to your down dog. Taking deep breaths. Let's pedal the feet a little bit. Let's just try to warm up the back of the legs. Fingers spread wide. Palms are flat on the mat. Tummies pulled in. Letting the back of the neck be long. And slowly from your down dog, looking up at your hands, walk or step your feet up to the top of the mat. Flat back inhale as you lengthen. And exhale, standing forward fold. And going up with a reverse swan dive, take the arms out wide, all the way up, all the way up, palms touch, look up, reach up, lengthen, maybe take a little lean back if it's comfortable for you. Inhale, center. We're going right back into it. Swan dive down. All the way back to your standing forward fold. Inhale, flat back, lengthen. Exhale, hands to the mat. Walk or step to plank. Exhale as you lower. You can take your knees down first. You can hover in chaturanga. Inhale, cover up dog. And on exhaling all the way back to your down dog. Tummy's pulled in. Fingers spread wide on the mat. Palms are flat on the mat. Taking those deep breaths. Maybe you're still pedaling the feet. And from your down dog, looking up at the hands, walk or step your feet up to the top of the mat. Flat back inhales, you lengthen. Exhale, standing forward fold. And going up reverse swan dive, arms out wide, all the way out, all the way up. Exhale as you lean back. Inhale, center, and do one more round, open wide, swan dive down. Back down to that standing forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, hands to the mat, walk, step or lightly hop to plank. Exhale as you lower down, hover, or take your knees, chin, chest to the floor. Inhale, cobra, or up dog. And exhaling back to your down dog. Deep breaths. Focusing just on you. Getting that tummy pulled in, fingers spread wide. Maybe come up to the tiptoes, the balls, balls of the feet. You can pedal the feet still if you'd like. Going back, up, looking up at the top of the mat. Walk, step or lightly hop to the top of the mat. Flat back, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, standing forward, fold. And we have that reverse swan dive, arms out wide, all the way out and up. And exhale as you lean back. Inhale, center, bring your hands straight down to the heart center. Take a moment here, close the eyes. Taking deep breaths. 
We're going to move into our Sur Namaskar V. We're going to do two rounds. First one slowly, second one faster. Starting at that chair pose, bend down, reach low. Keep the hips low and take your arms up. Chair pose, tuck the tailbone. Long spine, tummies pull in, chest is open. Most of the weight should be in the heels. You should be able to wiggle those toes. Hold it here. Like I said, we're moving through this first round slowly. On the exhale, we're going to standing forward fold. Head down, hips up. And holding it here. Tummy's pulling tight, support the spine. Crown of your head is down towards the feet. You can still pedal the feet. My legs are a little tight today. I'm just pedaling back and forth a little bit. Inhale, flat back, lengthen. Straighten the spine, connect the hands to the legs of the floor. Keep this nice straight spine as we go to our plank pose. So bend the knees, hands to the floor. Big step back with your right foot. Big step back with your left. Plank pose, and we're gonna hold it here. You can modify your plank pose by bringing the knees to the floor. Tummies pulled in, wrists underneath the shoulders. And on the exhale, you're gonna lower down, hover, or take your knees, chin, chest to the floor. You can hover and shut around if you'd like. Pulling it here, just above the floor if you're near Chaturanga. We're going to inhale into that cobra or up dog. Slowly coming up, if you're in your cobra pose, open the chest, tap the feet on the floor. If you're in your up dog, tap the feet on the floor and just hands. Open the chest. Deep breaths, holding here. And then exhale all the way back to your down dog. Tummies pulled in, fingers spread wide. Taking those deep breaths. And looking up at the hands, we're gonna step our right foot all the way up by our right hand. Back foot pivots down to the floor, warrior one. When you're ready, arms reach up and holding it here. Square the hips in the front of the mat and bend into that right leg. Find your focal point. Back foot is down onto the floor. You can look straight ahead, you can look up, or you can have that little lean back. And exhale, hands to the mat. Stepping your right foot back to our plank pose, and we're gonna hold it here because we're moving slowly. Remember, you can modify taking that modified plank with the knees to the floor. Arms are active. You're pushing the floor away. And on the exhale, you're gonna lower down, hover. Take your knees, chin, chest to the floor. Hold it here. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Hold it here. On the exhale, we're going back to our down dog. And taking those deep breaths. We got warrior one on the other side. Looking up at the hand, step your left foot up by your left hand. Pivot the sole of the right foot to the floor. Inhale, arms come up. Warrior one. Square the hips as much as you can. You're bending into that right leg, straightening the, or excuse me, bending into your left leg, straightening the right. Arms reach up, relax the shoulders, deep breaths. And on the exhale, take your hands all the way back to the mat. And step back to plank and hold it here. Keep your tummy pulled in tight. Use that core. Remember, you can modify with the knees to the floor. On your next exhale, lower down, hover. Or take your knees, chin, chest to the floor. Hold it here. Deep breaths. Elbows in. They should be hugging the rib cage. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Hold it here. 
And then exhaling all the way back to your down dog. You can take your child's pose or your down dog. Deep breaths. And from your down dog, looking up at your hands, walk or step your feet up to the top of the mat. Flat back inhale as you lengthen. Hold it here, tummy's pulled in, roll the shoulders back, pull them together. Exhale, standing forward fold. We have our chair pose at the end. Bend the knees, lower the hips, arms reach up. We're gonna hold it here, tuck your tailbone. Long spine, you should be able to see the toes in front of the knees. Keep your chest open. Sink a little lower perhaps. And then on the inhale, we're gonna stand all the way up straight, the arms straight, the legs reach up. You take your hands down, back to your sides, back to your starting position, Tadasana. We're going to do it one more time, this time moving faster. We a little bit more with our breath. Starting with that chair pose. Bend down, reach low. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, standing forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Lengthen. Exhale, hands to the mat. Walk step or lightly hop to plank. Exhale as you lower. Inhale, cobra or up dog. And exhaling back to your down dog. Warrior one on the right side, step your right foot up. Back foot to the floor, inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, hands to the mat. Step it back to plank. Exhale as you lower. Inhale, cobra or up dog. And exhaling back to your down dog. Warrior one on the other side, step your left foot up, right foot's down behind you, inhale, arms reach up, exhale, hands to the mat, step it back to plank, exhale as you lower, inhale, cobra or up dog, and exhaling back to your down dog. Deep breaths, if you want, you can take your child's pose, focusing on each breath. Knees pulled in, relax the back of the head. And from your down dog, looking up at the hands, walk, step or lightly hop top of the mat. Flat back, inhale. Exhale, standing forward fold. Chair pose, bend the knees, lower the hips. Arms reach up. And standing all the way up, straighten the arms and the legs. Hands to the sides. Whew. We're going to come to our tree pose. So we're going to turn to face you. Hands to your heart center. Take a deep breath in. Close the eyes. Relax the shoulders. Standing on your right leg, bringing your left foot up. Find your focal point. Standing up tall. If you'd reach down, help your foot up if you'd like. You could even have your foot at the floor. Having a little kickstand. Find that one spot to stare at. Holding here, taking those deep breaths. If you want, you can extend the arms out or up. If that throws your balance off, keep your hands at your heart center. And slowly, if your hands are extended, bring them back to your heart center. You're going to take that leg to the floor, deep breath in, exhale, roll the shoulders back, grounding through the feet, and switch sides, standing on your left foot, bringing your right foot up, get your balance first, finding that focal point, long spine, tummy's pulled in, when you're ready, you can extend the arms up or out. Growing your tree however you'd like today. Still taking those deep breaths. Try 
crown of your head reaching towards the ceiling. Soften your gaze. You're staring at one spot. If your arms are extended, bring them back to the heart center. And slowly taking your foot to the floor. Both feet together, hands to your heart center, deep breath in. And exhale, arms to the sides. We're gonna get back to our flowing practice. We're gonna turn back to the front of the mat. Inhale, take your arms out and up. Exhale, open wide, swan dive down. Inhale, half lift, lengthen. Exhale, hands to mat, walk, step, or hop to plank. Hold it here. So from our plank, we're going to go into our side plank. Taking your right hand to the center, your right knee could come to the floor. The left arm is going to reach up towards the ceiling. See if you can stack the shoulders, stack the hips, maybe even stack the feet. Open the chest. That top arm is active. Reach towards the ceiling. Holding here for five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Bring it back to the floor. Center plank. Your hands and knees. We're gonna switch sides. Left hand to the center. Right arm is reaching up. That bottom knee can come down. Lift the hips away from the floor. Holding here for five, four, three, two. And one, bring it back down to your center plank. And exhale as you lower. Inhale, cobra up dog. And exhaling back to your down dog. We're gonna lift the right leg into the air, extend it long, reach it back. Okay, open up that right hip a little bit. And then slowly looking at the hand, set that right foot all the way up again. This time we're coming into a high lunge. Your back heel is going to stay up off the floor. When you're ready, hands can come to the thigh, heart center, all the way up. Sinking in, relax the shoulders. Taking those deep breaths. You can look straight ahead. You can look up. You can have a little lean back. And slowly straighten it out. If you lean back, we're going to take the arms out wide and turn to the left. So you're going to turn first towards that leg that's extended. Arms out wide. Now we're going to go back to the center. And now to the right. Turn towards the leg that's bent in front, holding it here. From here, we're going to keep this twist. Take your front hand, your left hand, down to the floor. Right arm reaches up. You're still facing that bent leg. Right arm is reaching towards the ceiling. Now your left hand is on the floor. We're going back to that side plank. So think about your side plank. You're going to roll onto the outer edge of your left foot. That front right foot is going back to your side plank. Holding here for five, four, Three, two, one. Center plank. Holding here for five. You can modify, bring the knees to the floor. Four, three, two, and one. Let's go back to that down dog. Deep breaths. And then lifting the left leg into the air. Extend it long, reach it back. Open up the left hip. Keep breathing. Maybe look underneath your left shoulder a little bit. And level it out. Look at the hand, step your left foot up by your left hand. High lunge so your back heel stays lifted. When you're ready, hands come to the thigh, heart center, or all the way up. If you need more support, keep them on that thigh. And sinking in. Deep breaths. Straightening that right leg. Push out the right heel. Find your focal point. And we're going to take the arms out wide. First, we're going to turn to the right, towards that leg that's straight. So, all the way to the right as far as you can. 
And then back to the center. Now to the left, turning towards the bent leg. Still keeping that back leg straight, heels off the floor. From here, we're going to keep this twist. Right hand is going down, left arm is going up. Right hand to the floor, left arm reaches up. Holding here. We're going to that side plank again. So think of where your side plank is. Roll onto the outer edge of your back foot. This front leg is stepping back. Tummy's pulling. Put the weight into that right hand. Stepping it back. Holding here for five, four, three, two, and one. Good center plank. And exhale as you lower. Inhale, cobra up dog. Exhaling back to your down dog or your child's pose. Taking those deep breaths. And from here, we're gonna walk our hands back towards our feet. Coming into a standing forward fold at the back of the mat. Relax the head, relax the neck. And moving into our chair pose. Bend the knees, lower the hips, arms reach up. Holding here, check your tailbone, long spine, tummies pull in. And then back for a standing forward fold, exhaling. Chair pose again, bend the knees, hips sink low, arms reach up. This time we're going to bring our hands to our heart center. Relax the shoulders, tuck your tailbone. If your feet are together, squeeze the knees together. Find your focal point. Deep breaths, staying calm, stay focused. And we're going back to that standing forward fold, head down, hips up. Relax the legs. You can wobble the legs if you need to. We got one more. Bend the knees, lower the hips. Arms reach up. And then bring them to your heart center. We're going to add on here a little twist. Then your right elbow. Twist over to your left knee. See if you can hook the elbow on the knee and open up the chest towards the ceiling. Keep breathing, you're looking up towards the ceiling, your chest opens to the side. Think of it as rolling it open towards the ceiling though. On the inhale, let's go back to that center, chair pose. Deep breaths, we're gonna switch sides. Left elbow over to the right knee, hook the elbow on the knee, and think like you're gonna roll it open towards the ceiling, looking up over your right shoulder. Deep breaths, keep the hips low. Inhale back to your center. Hold it here for five, four, find that focus, three. I know you can feel your legs, two. And we're going to do our standing forward fold, head down, hips up. Relax the legs, you can wobble them out. From here, soften the knees, pull the belly in, we're gonna roll on up. And all the way up to the top. And roll the shoulders up and back. Big circles all the way around. Maybe wiggle the legs. Hands to your center. Deep breath in. Exhale. Relax the shoulders. From here, we're going to take our hands. Coming into our steeple grip. Point your fingers up. Thumbs crossed in the back. The rest of the fingers are in this. Take your arms, reach them straight up. Straightening the elbows. See if you can bring them behind the ears. Relax the shoulders on the spine. We're going to take a little step forward with our right foot. Tummy's pulled in. Putting the weight into that right leg. Soften the knee a little bit. You don't want to lock it. When you're ready, slowly tipping forward. As your chest comes forward, your back leg comes up. Find your focal point. Deep breaths. Holding for five. Roll that left hip down. Four. Three, two, 
And one, we're gonna inhale slowly up. Left foot comes to the floor, step your right foot back. Both feet together, inhale, arms are still up. Exhale, relax the shoulders. Other side, stepping forward with the left foot. Weight goes onto the left leg. Think of yourself as one long, big board. As you put the weight into that left leg, your right foot comes up behind you, hinging from that left hip. Arms stay behind the ears, reaching forward through the fingertips. Tummy's pulled in. Roll that right hip down. Soften your standing leg. Don't lock it. Holding here for five, four, deep breaths, three, two, and one. We're going to slowly inhale as you stand up, bringing your right foot to the floor, left foot steps back. Inhale and exhale as you unlace the fingers, bringing the arms down by your sides. Roll your shoulders up and back. Big circles all the way around. Hands to your heart center. Take that deep breath in. Exhale, relax the shoulders. You're going to turn to the side facing the long side of the mat, taking a giant step out towards the top of the mat. Your feet are either parallel or slightly in. I'm gonna take the arms out wide, flip the palms up towards the ceiling, little lean back, inhale, lift the chest, exhale, come forward, all the way down. Bring your hands to the floor, right underneath the shoulders, straighten the spine, look forward. On the exhale, you're gonna drop in. So walking your hands back between your feet, Tummy's pulled in. If your head hits the floor, walk the feet in a little bit closer. Or if your bum hits the floor. Tummy's pulled in. Holding here. Deep breaths. Your fingers are pointing in the same direction as your feet. Trying to straighten the knees. Engage the thighs, lift the kneecaps. On the inhale, you're going to straighten your arms, look forward. Exhale, hands to the hips. We're going to come up with a flat back, inhaling all the way. And roll the shoulders back. Let's bring our hands back to our heart center. We're going to take a big step back, all the way back to the back of the mat. Turning to face the front of the mat again. Arms to your sides. Inhale, take them out and up. Exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, half lift, lengthen. Looking up at the top of the mat, and walk your hands out. One, two, three, coming into your down dog. Lifting the right leg into the air, extend it long, reach it back. Look up at your hands, step your right foot all the way up by your right hand. Warrior one, when you're ready, arms reach up. We're gonna get moving a little bit faster again. Opening up to warrior two. You can adjust the feet if you need to. Let's take that reverse warrior right arm up. Open it up. And inhale back to warrior two. Exhale, side angle or extended side angle. Open up the chest. Tummy's pulled in. We're going to move a little bit faster between these poses. Pull the belly in. Inhale back up to warrior two. Exhale, reverse. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side angle, extended side angle. Inhale up. Exhale, reverse. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side angle, or extended side angle. One more round. Inhale up. Exhale, reverse. Inhale, warrior two. Side angle, extended side angle. Hold it here. Deep breaths. If you want, you can move into a bind. Taking that left arm behind your back, right arm underneath the right leg. Open up that left shoulder. Tummy's pulled in, looking up at the ceiling. Holding here for five, four, three, two, and one. Undo that bind if you had that bind. Turn to look at the floor, left hand down, right hand to the outside of the right foot. Coming into your high lunge. 
When you're ready, hands come to the thigh or center or all the way up. Exhale to bring your hands back to the mat. We'll begin to a low lunge, bring the left knee to the floor, top of left foot to the mat. When you're ready, hands to the thigh, heart center, or all the way up. And gently bring the hands back to the mat. We're going to straighten that right leg, pushing the hips back. If you want me to the toes come up, walk your hands forward instead of backward. Still taking deep breaths. And inhale as you bend into that front leg. Hands on the floor. We're going to move into our pigeon pose. Toe healing that right foot over by your left hand. Open up the knee. Right leg, or left leg is long behind you. Inhale as you lengthen. And exhale as you come forward. Focusing on your right hip, right thigh. You can stack your fists, your hands. Maybe pivot the hips back and forth. Tipping them side to side, seeing where it becomes more intense or less intense. Each exhale is a chance to relax a little bit more. Let go of any stress or tension that may be in that right hip, right thigh. And slowly inhale, bring your head and your chest up, place your hands on the floor underneath the shoulders. We're going to tuck the back toes. Bring the back knee up. We're going back to our down dog. Lift the hips and step your right leg back. Into your down dog and wobble the legs if you'd like. Pedal the feet. Taking a little vinyasa in between to reset. Inhale, shift into plank pose. Exhale as you lower down, hover. Take your knees, chin, chest to the floor. Inhale, cobra or up dog. And exhaling back to your down dog or your child's pose. Deep breaths. And we're going to lift the left leg into the air. Extend that lung, reach it back, look up at your hands. Step it all the way up. Warrior one, back the sound. Inhale, arms reach up. Opening up to warrior two, and the same sequence on the other side. Set up your warrior two, adjust the feet if you need to. We're gonna be here in this stance for a little bit. Let's take that reverse warrior, left arm up, open it up. Light with the right hand on the right leg. Inhale back to warrior two. Side angle, or extended side angle. Inhale back up. Exhale, reverse. Inhale, warrior two. Side angle or extended side angle. Inhale up. Exhale, reverse. Inhale, warrior two. Side angle or extended side angle. Back up, inhaling, we have our one more round. Exhale, reverse. Inhale, warrior two. Side angle, extended side angle from here. You can take that bind if you'd like. Right hand behind your back, left arm underneath the left leg. Holding here for five, four, three, two. And one coming out of the bind if you have that bind. Turn to look at the floor, right hand down, left hand to the outside of your left foot. Pick your back heel up, high lunge. And hands to the thigh, heart center, or all the way up. Exhale to bring your hands to the mat. Low lunge. Right knee comes down, top of right foot to the floor. When you're ready, hands to the thigh, heart center, or all the way up. And exhale, hands to the mat.
Straightening that front leg. Pushing the hips back. Maybe the toes come up. Tummies pulled in. Walk your hands forward. Extending long over that front leg. And inhale as you bend the left knee. Going into the pigeon pose, toe heel, toe heel. Your foot over towards your right hand and open up the left knee. Square the hips a little bit. Right leg is long behind you. Top foot on the floor, inhale as you lengthen. And exhale as you come forward. Focusing on the left hip, left thigh. It's not uncommon to have one hip tighter than the other. This is my tight side. Taking deep breaths. Not forcing yourself into the pose deeper, just allowing yourself to sink in with each exhale, letting go a little bit more. If it feels that it's tight or that it's intense and that you're holding back, you can always come up out of it. And then exhale back in. Feel free to adjust if you need to. Slowly come on up. Tucking your right toes. Right knee comes up off the floor, going back to our down dog. Lift the hips and step your left foot back. You wobble the legs. Inhale as you shift into plank pose. This time we're going to come all the way down to the floor. Moving into a low cobra, tops of feet are going to flip down to the floor. Hands stay underneath your shoulders, lift your head and your chest. Keep your rib cage on the floor, pull your shoulder blades together, elbows back. If you want, you can take your feet up off the floor. You can take your hands up off the floor. We're going to hold it here. Moving slightly forward or straight down. Squeeze the glutes, straighten the knees, point the toes. Don't let your shoulders shrug. Pull them down. Squeeze the glutes a little bit more. Still taking deep breaths. And exhale as you bring your legs to the floor, hands to the floor. On the inhale, we're going to push to our hands and knees. Walk your knees underneath you. Hands underneath the shoulder. We're going to round into our cat pose. Arch your back, tuck your tailbone under, let your head hang. Keep this rounded spine as you slowly sit back to your child's pose. You go all the way back to your child's pose. You can rest however you like with the arms maybe out in front or down by your sides. And then slowly we're going to inhale, bringing our chest up off our thighs. We're going to move to a seated position, taking your legs out from underneath you so you can bring them to the same side or cross them behind you. And sit all the way back, extend the toes and the feet all the way out in front. Legs extended out, toes up, inhale, arms open up, and exhale, coming forward with that long spine. Tummy's pulled in, pulling up out of the low back. Think of hinging from the hips of the stomach and the chest lay on the thighs, crown of the head comes towards the feet. And inhale as you roll on up. Moving to the center of the mat, bend the knees. Sitting up tall, hands behind the thighs. Moving into boat pose, tiptoe the feet back. When you're ready, sit up tall. Lift the feet up off the floor. If you have bent legs or straight, you can hang on or let go. Holding here for five. Lift the collarbone. Four, three, two, and one. Bring the feet to the floor. We're going to take the knees out to the side. 
Soles of the feet together, pull them in. Inhale as you sit up tall. And exhale as you drop your chin to the chest and round down, bringing your head down towards your feet. Your elbows can be in next to the body or out towards the legs to push against the thighs or the, opening the knees a little wider. And slowly inhale as you roll on up. Hands underneath your knees, guide the knees together. And slowly rolling down onto the mat. And gently take your arms out wide, palms facing up. As you exhale, we're going to slowly tip our legs to the left. And relaxing into your twist. Pull the belly in as you inhale, slowly bring the knees up. And exhale as you tip to the other side. Easing into your spinal twist. Inhale, pull the belly in, knees up, and exhale as you extend all the way out. Reach your arms up overhead, coming into your full body stretch, point your toes, spread the fingers wide, and on your exhale, relax your arms, relax your legs. Bringing your hands down by your sides, palms facing up, setting up for your Shavasana, letting your feet flop out to the side. And the arms and legs feel supported and drifting heavily into the mat. Going back to your shallow breath. Just setting up into that comfortable Shavasana. You can stay here a little bit longer if you'd like. Just slowly rolling onto your side. And gently pushing yourself up to a seated position. hands to your heart center. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Namaste. Thank you very much for practicing with me. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a lovely day. See you next time. Bye.